another movie review. I haven't done a movie review in so long. I thought today we're going to talk about the horror movie, the found footage horror movie, The Gallows. And before you like really just think like really is it a found footage horror movie again? Yeah, it, it really is. When are they going to stop making these? I don't know. It's not really working anymore. We need a new way to make horror movies. But basically The Gallows is about this theater group that 20 years ago put up a play and an accident happens and a boy dies and 20 years later another theater group decides that you know what? A great idea is to put up the same fucking play and just see what happens. It can't go that bad. Well you're in a fucking horror movie. You should know better. Don't do that. Some things are just better left in the past. Stop touching it. Don't do that. But basically they put up this play again and a few students decide that you know what I don't want to be a part of this play so the day before they decide to go to school at night and destroy all of the set pieces and all that and shit goes down like bad shit goes down so the big question really is was this movie good no. like I've seen way way worse found footage horror movies and I did actually enjoy the parts where they were at school most of the time like when they go there at night and shit goes down that was really creepy but the ending just frustrated the shit out of me like the last 10 minutes of the movie maybe was very very predictable I just was like this is gonna happen and guess what it fucking did it happened I called it I knew it ah okay first we're gonna talk about the good things I really liked the fact that they were like at a school and everything I don't know why but it was really really creepy and the fact that they made this a little bit of a new twist on it because it technically it's a haunted play I just really like the concept the acting was fine a good horror movie I feel like is about an hour and a half usually and I think that the runtime for this was good okay the bad things it was predictable it's a found footage horror movie really you couldn't come up with another idea really you needed to make another found footage horror movie Seriously? And because of the fact that they are only four main characters, well there are four people in the school when the shit goes down, you really need to have a connection with all of the characters and you didn't because one of them is a complete asshole. Another one is the asshole's girlfriend and the other two you really do care about because of the fact that they have this kind of love interest and it's just you know it's a bit cute and it's a bit like oh you like her oh you like her but at the same time you're like I don't give a damn about this love story I just want to see people die and that's another thing you never really saw anybody die you just saw them get dragged away and 10 minutes later they find the bodies and they're like oh you're dead oh I'm so sad and you're like but I didn't see anybody die and yes it was creepy but it was still like I don't see anybody die I watch a fucking horror movie because I want to see people get killed and I know it's a ghost story well, haunted theater story movie whatever and that's usually what happens in one of those movies that people just get dragged away and you find the bodies later and blah 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 but come on I didn't get to see one, well I get to see one person, two people die in the same way. So technically it was just repeating itself and it was stupid. I want to see people die. Otherwise I shouldn't have watched a horror movie. I'm just saying, let me see some people die. And the ending was sucky. It was a lot of setup. A lot of setup. Like it took maybe... 20 25 minutes or something like that if not even longer to actually like get to the point where they go to the school at night I know you need to set up the characters you can care for them but you don't anyways so why the fuck do you bother with this and why aren't there more people in this movie and I know it sounds like I'm complaining a lot about this movie but the thing is that it was actually creepy. Like the middle part of this movie was actually really really creepy and I did really enjoy the look of the ghost even though you don't actually see that much of the ghost. And they have this one shot and I think that they made 
a teaser of this, I think I've seen it before. Like one of the girls are sitting in the hallway and crying and one way you have this dark hallway and on the other side you have this not so dark hallway that is kind of lit up with this red light. And she sits there and she cries and the camera is, you know, of course, set up right in front of her. And you see the ghost come out of the darkness and you're like, look back, idiot, look back. It's right there! But that was really, really creepy. And then, you know, she gets dragged away like two seconds later. I thought the movie was fine. It wasn't as scary as I wanted it to be, but it was still an alright horror movie. The middle part was alright, but the ending sucked. And it was a long setup for four very weak characters. If you've seen The Gallows, please. Tell me down below what you think about it because I need to make up my mind. I, maybe I should rewatch it where I'm not putting up my makeup. Maybe I can focus a little bit more on it. But anyways, if you have watched it, leave a comment down below. I would love to know your opinions. If you want to become a part of our shameless family here on YouTube, click the subscribe button. I will have links in the description for uh, all of my social media. If you for some reason want to follow that, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I don't know. But they are down there. Anyways, so thank you so much for watching, be kind to one another and yourself, and I will see you in my next video. May the force be with you. Bye!